Hey, what's up parents? My name is Tyler Tarver with the Tarver Academy YouTube channel where I have videos to help teachers, students, and parents be successful in-person classrooms, virtual classrooms, and everything in between. So I wanna to talk to you today about how you as a parent can do the best you can to prepare your child for virtual learning, I mean, in-person learning, but also blended model. To give you a little bit of background, I've taught in-person and I've taught online. I've been an administrator, a principal of a school that had online blended and in-person. So I've talked to hundreds of parents. I know what you're struggling with. I know it's hard because not only are you trying to help your student learn a curriculum, but in the process of that, you're trying to learn through this, like these different platforms and these different types of technology that you may never have used. And it's been 20 years since a lot of you guys have ever even done anything with the curriculum. So you got two layers of difficulty. And so I'm gonna show you how to help your student and everything you can do to be successful with your child at home, blended or in person. So the first tip you have to do is you have to help your child get organized, okay? And there's a few different aspects of this I wanna break down. So you're like organized, so they need to put it in folders. Yeah, a lot of your teachers are gonna have them put them in digital folders. But one of the things you gotta do is you've gotta help figure out a schedule for your child. Write it down, put it on a dry erase board, put it on a piece of paper, like checklist their day so they know what they need to be doing at different times of the day. Now, here's the deal. Just like us as adults, students have different things that give them energy. So throughout their day, they're gonna go from like, yeah, I'm really motivated, to I don't wanna do this, to this is terrible, to I like it. I don't know if my waving's on or off, but it's gonna fluctuate. Figure out what things give them energy and then have what I call energy breaks throughout the day. So let's say your child likes TikTok or Snapchat or Instagram or whatever, give them a five minute TikTok break. So it's a TikTok timeout. So they get five full minutes where they can just swipe through TikTok and then they can jump back in. It's something to get that, get them back in, motivated, and they can jump back into their classwork if they're starting to lull. If it's outside, if it's, if it's running, if it's whatever it is, they can help them um, get back in the right frame of mind to get back into the classroom, start working. The next thing within option number one of getting organized, build a planner. I have a lot of digital planners for free on my website, tarveracademy.com. It's linked in here. They're free, you can have them. They're like daily planners. I like this planner, I like paper. So if you want a paper planner, you can print the ones I have out or you can make your own or buy your own. I'll put links to my favorite planner um, in, in the description but you need to figure out a way for them to write stuff down, either online or physical. They need to be able to write it down and be organized. Number two, you need to create a workspace for your child. A bed is not a workspace. Beds are for sleeping, workspaces are for working. You need to find a spot where they can work. Now, if you don't have a lot of room in your house, I understand, okay? You, if you are gonna have to use the bed, if that's the only space they have to do that, you can go online, you can get some of those little things they can sit in their lap. Even just something as simple as like a portable desk or something to put their computer on top of where they're not like laying down and they go from sitting up on their bed to like laying down asleep on their bed. They need a workspace. Make it feel as much as you can like a workspace. Put some pens, pencils, lighting, whatever you can do to make it feel like that is the place you go to work. If you leave that space, I'm gonna assume you're not working because that is the other other space for everything else. Number three, communication is key. You need to talk to your child every single day. Have them show you. Don't just be like, did you do all your work today? Yeah, I did my work. You need to have them go in and show you where they completed their assignments. One, that's gonna help them be held accountable. But two, you'll start learning where you can see their assignments. If you never go look at how they see their assignments, you won't be able to help them when they're confused and they need to know. And you need to communicate also with your teachers. The teachers of your, your child, they want to communicate with you. It's always easier if you reach out to them. Say, hey, how's little Johnny doing? Not in an accusatory way. Never want to do that. Do not come in like, why is little Johnny doing this? Most of the time, little Johnny's not listening, okay? I'm sorry to say that, but it, that's the majority. Not always, but the majority, okay? The, the teachers are trying to communicate to your child. You're trying to communicate to your child. It's also good if you make that into a triangle instead of a V. So talk to the teachers. Once a week is good enough to just keep hitting them up and see if they need anything from you. Number four, you need to help your child build a community of people doing class with them. If they're all by themselves and they're just doing their Zoom calls or meets or whatever they're doing, and then they go off and do it on their own, it's gonna be so much harder for them to be as successful as they can be. So what you need to do is you need to help hold them accountable, find, make sure they find a couple friends, one to three extra friends. You don't want too many, that's a party. You want one to four people in a group, their group text messaging, group emails, whatever way they can communicate. If you need to do like a breakout room after, let them go on a Zoom 
call with some of their friends and they can just work and then ask each other questions. That is huge for student success if they have somebody going through this with them. But also, you need to build a community of people that you're being able to check in on and ask questions to. So find one to three parents of students that are in that class, reach out to them and see if you guys can start a group text message where you can just be like, hey, little Johnny said that, you know, they have an assignment due Friday, it's pretty big. Have you guys heard anything about it? Um, oh, we have, do we have any deadlines coming up next week? It's a good way for all of you guys to help rely on each other and make everybody better. The last thing, number five, you need to remember that you are all on the same team. You, your child, the teachers, principals, everybody is trying to do one thing and that is help your child succeed. Stop acting like you are not on the same team as the teachers or the administrators or even as your child. You are all working towards your child getting better. And honestly, the one that usually doesn't put as much effort in as everybody else is the child. So all of you guys, all of the adults, everybody involved trying to make the child better is going to naturally make them better because at every, where they go, school, their online stuff, their um, at home, they're gonna have somebody telling them how important it is they do well and somebody believing in them and encouraging them to do better. So remember, if you have your child says, well, this teacher did this, the teacher did that, call them, say, hey, little Johnny said this, can you follow up with it? Now, if it's something serious, you obviously need to follow the right procedures, but I would highly recommend keeping in communication with all those people, making sure that you're available for them and how they need you to best serve your child's academic success. Those are my tips. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this helped. I've got a ton of resources. I've also got a, a breakdown of different tutorials on things that you're gonna need to know to help your student in Google Classroom, Sheets, Docs, Slides, all these things that you've never used in your life that you can help your child use because they're using on the daily. I've got that linked at tarveracademy.com slash parent. Okay, so you can check that out and you can get any resources you want. I got you guys, stay good, hit subscribe, and never stop learning. Peace.